Tonight, prosecutors say that the mastermind of the alleged plot to kidnap Governor Whitmer wanted to take a picture while the governor was handcuffed to a table. They say the comments captured in secret recordings show how the suspects plan to carry out the alleged plot. News Channel 3's Mike Kravcik was in federal court in Grand Rapids as the FBI agent explained why they feared a lone wolf attack. Prosecutors gave jurors a closer look into the background of Adam Fox. Fox, along with Barry Croft, are charged in this kidnapping conspiracy. FBI agents testifying they feared both men would commit lone wolf attacks if they didn't keep them together. Late today, we're learning of a juror misconduct investigation that could put this retrial at risk. An FBI agent testifies he went undercover as a member of the extremist group known as the Wolverine Watchmen. Prosecutors say Adam Fox is heard in recordings played in court today talking about kidnapping the governor, then leaving her in a boat in the middle of Lake Michigan. The FBI says its domestic terrorism investigation into Fox started in the spring of 2020 for fears he might carry out an attack on the state capitol in Lansing. I mean, they were driving everything. Defense attorneys say the FBI orchestrated training exercises and the nighttime mission scoping out the governor's cottage weeks before the suspect's arrest in October 2020. Well, in the car that my client was in on that field trip they took him on up by Luther, it was 75% were informants. There were three informants and my client. Barry Croft's attorney scrutinizing relationships five different FBI informants had with Croft, a trucker from Delaware. They honed in on Steve Robeson, the former FBI informant, kicked off the case for tipping off Croft hours before his impending arrest. In a now sealed court filing, Croft's attorney claims a juror told co-workers they decided the case and the verdict they planned to deliver. The judge entered an order that I can't make any comment on it. According to court filings, Judge Robert Yonker says he met twice with the juror and will handle the matter privately in order to avoid a mistrial. A mistrial was declared when jurors deadlocked during the first trial in April. Two other men were found not guilty. The trial here in federal court resumes Monday.